For the first time since 1953, a woman was executed by the U.S. federal government. That is this week's Speak Out segment. Her name was Lisa Montgomery, and after receiving a lethal injection at a federal prison complex, she was pronounced dead 1.31 a.m. on Wednesday, becoming the first female inmate to be federally executed in nearly seven decades. Montgomery was convicted of killing a 23-year-old woman in 2004 who was eight months pregnant. Montgomery then cut the baby from the womb and attempted to pass the girl off as her own. But lawyers and those close to Montgomery argued putting her to death violated her constitutional rights because they say she had, quote, brain damage, severe mental illness, and suffered a lifetime of sexual torture. People have to understand that children that go through childhood abuse, it changes who they are. I went through that and it took me years and years to overcome it, but I also had a good foundation that helped me overcome it. Lisa did not have that foundation, and she was broken. Lisa has been diagnosed with organic brain damage and serious mental illness that requires her to be heavily medicated at all time. This is the type of evidence that is critically relevant to determining an appropriate punishment for a serious crime. Our world is not safer with Lisa Montgomery dead. This entire case is tragedy compounded upon tragedy. Reading about the victim, Montgomery killed Bobby Joe Stinnett, it shakes you to the core of your soul. That crime in 2004 is so evil and perverse. And then when you learn about Montgomery's life, that she had been diagnosed with various mental illnesses and experienced brain damage due to physical and sexual abuse she endured as a child, you begin to see the bigger picture, the large web of sins and evil. Now that the federal government executed her, ended her life, it adds sin upon sin. God alone is the author of life. It is not up to us to decide when someone's life should end. As Archbishop Paul Coakley told me last month, the church's stance against the death penalty does not mean we are soft on justice. It means that we are very, very, firmly committed to the preservation and protection of human dignity.